when you look at these vote totals, really it's the low ballot counts that stick out to election officials. Our Kaylin Hagwood continues our team coverage tonight. She was in Uptown talking with voters and officials about the turnout today. Here at St. John's Baptist, it was pretty slow and steady in terms of voter turnout throughout the evening with just a few hundred people casting their ballots. Election officials have been hoping to see turnout reach at least 20% among all Mecklenburg County voters, which is certainly low, but they say local races just don't drive the voters the way presidential races do. Much busier in a presidential. So presidential, you're looking at a 70 or 75% turnout. Here, we're, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, you know, 15 or 20. Across North Carolina, roughly 16% of voters cast their ballot in local elections in 2021, according to state elections data. And nonpartisan research group FairVote says that low turnout is often attributed to political disengagement and the belief that voting will do little to change public policy. If you don't vote, you, you can't complain. Voters who did cast their ballot Tuesday say they feel passionately about having their voice heard now and in the future. It gives us the voice that we may not have had otherwise to implement the changes that are needed um, in our various regions. Mecklenburg Elections Director Michael Dickerson says around 5% of people cast their ballots early in this election. He's hoping to see more people become engaged in the process. Yes, we all know what the president does. We know what the senators do in Congress, and so they all do, but these folks that are local, they're out working hard for your vote and working hard for your confidence in their process. While voter turnout overall was expected to be low for these local races, some voters already speaking passionately about coming out for the 2024 presidential election. Reporting in Uptown, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte. Kaylin, thank you for that. And speaking